the head of Hermitage recently stated it is Russian culture that is the instrument of Russian imperialism. Все, що було задумано до цього, придумано, не має зараз жодного значення. Hello and welcome to Ukraine in Flames, a special project by Ukraine Media Center and NGO Euroatlantic Course. My name is Alexandra Tsakhanovska, and today we talk about inspiration. Inspiration is arguably the most important driver of art, but one might ask a question, is there a place for art and inspiration as it is in a country at war, such as Ukraine? Ukrainian artists will give a very definitive answer. Yes, there is a place. If you'd like to know more, please subscribe to our channel to stay tuned. Since Ukrainians perceive Russian war as an existential threat, and they have been proven right by the increasingly genocidal, in the academic sense of this word, uh, rhetoric and actions of the Russian Federation and its military, we fight for our existence tooth and nail. This fight is all-encompassing, and it also breeds many heroic acts. Uh, it takes place on different front lines, including the artistic ones, and uh, writers, painters, musicians, actors, all rethink the biggest challenge of our life as a nation. Our first speaker, Olesa Drashkaba, will tell us more about this and also about how this is most definitely not the first time uh, that Ukrainians and their artists have to fight against Russian imperialism in history. How Ukrainian art expertise and comprehends uh, the Russian war, Ukrainian culture has always been a part of Ukrainian movement liberation movement for independence. That is why Ukrainian artists uh, suffered repressions and terror so severely since the time of the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union. And today we hear from Russian propagandists that is Ukrainian culture and ethnic that is, in their opinion, is a manifestation of Ukrainian Nazis, as Maria Zakharova said in her speech about Ukrainian borscht or as the head of Hermitage recently stated, it is Russian culture that is the instrument of Russian imperialism. Whatever, it is not surprising that the Ukrainian art front has been walking in Ukraine since the first day of invention. Artists draw posters and series of works, create NFT in support of the army force and participate in auction in uh, Ukraine and abroad. Влада Ралко, Матвій Вайсберг, Алівтіна Кахідзе, Нікіта Тітов, Андрій Єрмоленко and many, many, many others uh, artist documentaries or reflections uh, in original art diaries. A lot of work is being done on the cultural front and it is on writing articles to explain the Western part and how dangerous the Russian culture is and why the cancellation of Russian culture is a necessary addition to sanction against Russia. Many cultural Ukrainian institutions, such as Ukrainian Institute, are also joined this movement. It is also important to note that many Ukrainian culture figures uh, are actively involved in volunteers' movement and serve in, serve in army force. For example, the writer Andriy Lubka raised fund for 20 cars for the army force. Sergei Zhadan is also actively involved in volunteering. The writer Artem Chek joined the army and so did the poet Artem Polizhaka. In my opinion, all Ukrainians are now at war and the artistic front is also very extensive and diverse. Everyone is doing what they can do for our victory. As you can see, Ukrainian artistic community has suffered a lot under Russian imperialism, and now it suffers again due to the large-scale invasion. If you want to know more about this, read up on the executed Renaissance, for example, and Sandarmoh, where 289 Ukrainians, mostly artists, were killed in just one day, a spike of persecutions under Stalin's orders in 1930s. Our culture has been robbed of so much potential, and Russian government vehemently keeps denying it. 
For example, Google the Dmitriev affair uh, to learn the terrifying story of an activist, Yuri Dmitriev, who was trying to research and uh, publish the truth about tragic events that took place in Sandermov. But he has been framed and arrested by the Russian government. We as Ukrainians, however, are dedicated to keep telling the truth. Welcome our next speaker who reflects on how the current war will influence our art, because we have no doubts that it will. Доброго дня. Мене звати Тарас Томенко, я кінорежисер. Щодо ваших запитань, як війна змінила, повпливала на мистецтво, скажу одне, що все, що було задумано до цього, придумано, не має зараз жодного значення. Війна поміняла все, вона змістила акценти, вона перевернула взагалі уявлення про світ, про людей, про стосунки. Всі теми, які раніше здавалися актуальними, цікавими, на даному разі вони стали якимось дерев'язковими менше вартісними насправді. Ця війна е- війде в історію мистецтва потужньо, тому що зараз створиться новий епос, героїчний епос. Той епос, який творили колись, скажімо, в стародавній Греції. Тому що те, що зараз роблять наші захисники, показуючи ту геройську звитягу, це є дійсно неймовірна, неймовірний героїчний подвиг, який буде оспіваний в мистецтві, переосмислений. Я думаю, важко сказати, як відреагує мистецтво зараз, але відомо одне, що о, і режисери, і музиканти, і художники всі будуть працювати з цією темою, всі будуть знаходити якісь рефлексії. О, мені здається, що ця війна дасть величезний потужний поштовх для гуманізму, для пошуку людини себе в цьому світі, для і відповість на дуже-дуже багато, на багато питань, які до цього залишалися відкритими, перестали існувати півтони. Зараз існує дуже критично виважені категорії. Тому я думаю, що це з точки зору мистецтва буде надзвичайно цікавий етап. І Україна буде тут на вістрі цього мистецького процесу. If you want to find out more about Ukrainian art during the war and see some of the many, many works created by Ukrainian artists in the recent times, check, for example, the Sunseed Gallery project. It serves as a platform for Ukrainian artists and their creations dedicated to war, and also part of the funds that you spend when buying something go to the support of Ukrainian armed forces and also to the support of Ukrainian artists. You have been watching this special project by Ukraine Media Center and Euro-Atlantic course, Ukraine in Flames. In the description to this episode, you can find information on how you personally can help Ukraine in the face of Russian aggression. If you find our work useful, please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Everything is going to be Ukraine.